everybody, it's Amanda from the St. Louis Science Center, Science Off Center team, here with another experiment for you. Last week, Erin showed you how to make an electromagnet, and I thought today we'd make an even simpler version of a magnet. All we're going to need is some metal nails, some paper clips, and some magnets. And what we're going to do, I'm going to take one of my nails, and I'm going to take a magnet, and this is just a regular refrigerator clippy magnet. I'm going to put the magnetic side against the metal. And then I'm going to rub the magnet one direction till the magnet no longer contacts the nail anymore. So if we could zoom down to the teeny tiny parts of the nail called atoms, we would see that when we're rubbing that magnet against the nail, we're actually lining the atoms up. The atoms have a positive and a negative side. Kind of like poles, just like a magnet. But when we look inside the nail, uh, they're just kind of in formation, but their poles aren't really lined up. That's what the magnet does. It causes all the pluses and minuses to get organized and line up so that we're all going the same direction. And that helps make the nail magnetic. So, you can try different kinds of nails because they won't all work. And you can try different types of magnets. You could even stack magnets because that will increase your magnetic field. And if you rub it all the same direction and get those atoms organized, you should be able to pick up a paper clip. And an even easier way is to stick your magnets on the end and then we can pick up paper clips really easy but it's still strong enough to help get those atoms organized so try out different nails try out different magnets when you get it to work drop your nail on the ground pick it up and see if it still works and let us know what you think so try this experiment and we'll see you soon 